Hi everyone, I'm Cody, W3AMG with BridgeCom Systems, and today we're going to be showing you how to update the digital contact list on your radio. That way you can stay up to date with all of the contacts out there in the world. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do, take our programming cable, uh, connect that to both the radio and our computer. Plug that in the side of our computer there, perfect. Uh, now at this point, go ahead and jump into the computer and open up the correct CPS for your radio. So once you're here, uh, you're pretty much ready to import that list, uh, but we actually have to go and get our new contact list. So you'll go to a web browser, any web browser should work fine, and you want to go to radioid.net. Uh, that's going to be the place to get the best and latest list for the digital contact list. That is actually the source. That's where it comes from. So uh, it's going to be the best place for you to get that. Then go to database. Uh, and we actually want data dumps right here. Click on data dumps. And once you're there, there's a lot of different options. What you want is the user CSV right down here near the bottom. Click on that user CSV. Awesome, there we go. We can save that here, just user. We'll add a date to it so we know what it is. Save that to our desktop, perfect. So we've downloaded that. Now in our CPS, what you'll do, uh, first things first, read from your radio. I've already done that in this case, uh, but to do that, just click on the button here, the COM port icon, make sure we can see our radio, which we can. Then go ahead and uh, read from the radio. Uh, we're just going to read the other data. Read from it. That's going to get everything synchronized together. Uh, make sure what's on your radio is now on your computer. That way when you write things back to your radio, you don't you know, overwrite things or end up with a band error. Awesome. So we've read from our radio. We're good to go there. There we go, awesome. So the read data is complete. Uh, so we can click OK. Now at this point, go ahead and go up to Tool. And we're gonna go to Import. Click OK. And from here, we can see the digital contact list down here on the left. Click on that. And now at this point, just go to the place we saved that file. So here we go. There it is, that latest contact list file. Go ahead and open that. And it's now just a matter of clicking Import. Now with the size of the current list, this may take a minute, uh, and if your computer is a little bit older and slower like mine is, it might even show not responding, but just give it time, it'll make it through it. Awesome, there we go, so import complete. Go ahead and click OK. So we have the new list inside of our CPS now. Now at this point, we just have to get that over to the radio. So what you'll do is go up here, make sure we can still see our radio, click on that COM port, which we can, shouldn't have changed, and then click on the button to the right of it that says Write to Radio. Click OK, and this time we want to select both the digital contact list and the other data, and click OK. Now it's going to start the process pretty quick, but it's going to take quite a while to actually import all of that over to the radio. So don't be discouraged. It will take you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes. Uh, don't know how long it's going to depend on a lot of factors, but it can take a minute, so don't get discouraged by it. And there you have it, it completed right into the radio. So now at this point, you can go ahead and unplug that cable from your radio and you are all set. You have now have the latest and greatest digital contact list.